Hello everybody, SB Slayer here, and welcome back to the me invasion. Yes, we're finally back. And we're going to hopefully not die to the Mies. That that that, that, would, that would suck. So I'm probably going to die to the Mies now that I've said that. But that's kinda of how this works. But yeah, um uh, I haven't really done anything on this world because I was told in the comments that uh Apparently it's like five or so days before the Mies start making proper base, and I decided, you know what, I'm just not going to play on the world then, because I want to I want to be there when it actually starts, I want to be recording when it actually starts. So, uh, I kind of put it off until I started recording again. <laughs> so it's been a little bit. I do ever, however remember where, where the fuck I was, mostly. Except for what I was about to do at the beginning here. Because I'm dumb. <laughs> I literally just thought I should build defenses and crap. And I immediately forgot that I was going to build defenses and crap. <laughs> uh, I'll place my hat. I should probably get better armor. I should probably just armor up. That should be something that I do. Can I make pants? Yes, I can. Those pants aren't exactly good. I have like three iron left. Alright, so I have a bit of armor now, yay! So, I'm not sure if now will be the time. I don't know what, what day we left off on is the problem. I mean, I could go to statistics and see if I can find the days counter, but uh, that's a lot of just random bullshit, because that has no organization. Uh, <clears throat> actually, I could look at the F3 menu. It has a days counter on here, doesn't it? Somewhere? Amongst all this mountain of information? I'm not sure. Uh, maybe I should get a day counter. It would be useless now, though. I should start installing day counters for mods like this. Alright, well. The bees keep scouting over there, so hopefully they just make a base over there. Because that's generally far enough away. <clears throat> At the same time, I don't want them being anywhere near me. So, <laughs> so yeah, what I am going to do, though, is I think I'm going to rebuild the base a bit. I think I'm going to remake it out of cobblestone. And, of course, expand it. Because, fuck all of this. But first, of course, I'm going to sleep. And eat. But yeah. We're going to rebuild the base out of cobble. Build it bigger. Build it better. I should probably install more mods now that I think about it. Uh, just because I feel like I could use some more defensive stuff. I actually know the perfect mod that'd be great for this. I found out about it recently, and I should totally install it. Uh, but that'll be for next next video, I think. Yeah, that'll be for next. You know, I have three iron. I have some wood. I'm just gonna get an iron axe. I don't know why the hell I haven't made that, actually. Also, the fact that that was literally one one thing away from breaking. This window can stay, because this is already a line that I wanted to be in the official stone base. So let's just break down this wood crap, replace it with stone, make it less burnable. And uh hopefully that will work and be useful. And we're gonna we're gonna lose some glass because uh I put it in and didn't think about the fact that I'm probably going to want to expand. But yeah, um I'm probably gonna expand like this. Just encapsulate my hounds here. <laughs> Just trap my dogs within the house. That is 
That is the plan. I'm just gonna break this, because why the fuck not? But yeah, since the Mii's are gonna be here probably soon, or at least are going to start building soon, presumably, I'm not gonna go too, big, too much bigger, I'm just gonna go a significant amount bigger. And it's still gonna be very cubic right now. I'm not gonna start dec decorating until I actually get blocks that I feel are worthy of decorating with. Actually, I don't know why the hell... Hold on. Why did I even do this? Well, other than... I guess that did actually work exactly how I wanted it to. But I'm gonna make it so they can't just hide under my base. Because I could totally see them trying to invade my base and then just... Fucking... Getting caught under that lip. And this. And boom. Alright, let's get some more cobblestone, and... I'm at least gonna finish the outline. Or, like, get the outline set in stone. I think the doors are gonna go here. Uh, thank you, Nair. I'm gonna need a lot more cobblestone. Do I have any more cobblestone just sitting on my chest? No? Okay. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely going to be a bit of a tear down this shack day. And also a harvesting stone day. And maybe I should go into the caves just to make at least the stone harvesting more interesting. I might. Just so I have a chance of actually fighting something. Because I do need to do some exploring as well. Make sure I have all of my land covered. And I can at least finish my goddamn outline. You know, I'll, I'll leave the corners, actually. At least part of the corners. I think I'll do some... Some fun little detail work on the corners later. Uh, I'll have a window here. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go with the glass here. So I can at least see. Alright, let's go. Let's get more stone and get more shit. Because we're going to need to gather items and materials. And watch for me's again. And the weird green thing we saw. We're definitely gonna, we're gonna have to watch for that. I don't know when the me's start building base. I don't know where they'll start building base. But, uh, I'm gonna go for this little cave over here, I see. Hopefully this is it. This is actually a cave and not just a divot in the ground. Okay, it's an actual, like, proper little tiny cave. A little bit of lag. Okay, we have some coal. I don't have torches, but I do now. Actually, wait, I have... Up to find what the fuck am I doing? I can just offhand a torch. And suddenly, I have light. But yeah, apparently there's a bunch of structures that I'm going to have to look for. And apparently there's a bunch of boss battles I'm going to have to fight. So those me seeds I've been getting are going to be very important. I'm not entirely sure how the hell I grow my mees. All I know is I can grow them. And they can, like, do c run colonies of their own. Which you'd expect to be pretty bad, but apparently that's actually good, because you can, like, raise them as your own army. So I'm about to have my own private military of tiny little white blobs. Which is one of the funniest sentences I could probably ever fucking say, <laughs> but... That's because of the fact... 
Let, let, let me put it into perspective. I'm fighting an army of tiny white slimes, basically. They're honestly cuter than they are threatening. But they are still the enemy. <laughs> and I am still going to slaughter them. <laughs> At least to the best of my ability, I will slaughter them. Alright, I think I have... Uh, not, not enough, but at least... I don't want to stay in one area too long. I'm not sure where the hell the bees are. I'm beginning to... be a little paranoid about where the hell they are. They got spawning over here, though. I think I'm gonna check it out. Do a little bit of scouting. Mies. 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 I'm gonna go down here. This is a decent cave. Yeah, I need to remember to take advantage of the fact that I have Optifine in here more. Let me get the useful... Why is that sound effect playing? That means Green Man is around. Is he in here? Where is he? Where are you? Where is he? There he is! Hey, Mr. Memory Man! There you are. Okay, I gotta play hide and seek with you a bit. Come here. Oh god, this game of hide and seek is annoying. He keeps teleporting like further and further away. I don't know what his ranges are. For his teleportation. Yeah, I was hoping to get a better vantage point. Instead, I just took fall damage. I'm going to pull out a weapon, or a shield at least. Is that done there? Is that done there? There you are. Oh my god. Uh, where is he going? Where are you? Sir! Sir, I've come to talk to you about your car's extended warranty. Where are you? Sir and or madam. I'm gonna have an empty hand ready. Cause I don't know if I have to... Do I have to click on him with an empty hand? I don't know how the hell he works. Do I just chase him until he gives me the thing? Okay, I guess I guess I just chase him until he gives me the thing. I now have a memory, apparently. I have another memory. He spawned in the same area twice. I don't know if there's like some kind of significant structure maybe underground. But uh he likes the area. That that's that's all I have to say about it. <laughs> really? He just likes the area. I don't know I, I don't know what else to say. I have no idea how the, why the fuck he keeps spawning there. <sighs> but yeah, now I have two memories apparently. And apparently those are important. Literally someone in the comments was just like, "Hey, you got a memory. Nice." I'm just like, I don't know what the fuck a memory is, but I have it. <laughs> I have no memory of this memory, but I have it. <laughs> Which is a weird, weird thing to say. Alright, let me just grab this doors. For now, we're gonna have... Hi, Mr. Creeper. Sorry, but you're not allowed inside. In fact, you're not you're not allowed within fifty yards of my fucking house. Go away. Uh you know what? I'll I'll make the window here. I still want to have windows on all sides of my house. So I feel like vantage points and visibility are kind of important. Given the fact that hello, creeper. Whee! Come on, in the water. Come on. You're not as threatening when I have to deal with the knees. Got you, bitch. Okay, I don't know when the hell the knees are going to arrive. Is 
the slightly concerning part. Having general vantage points of all sides of my house is definitely going to be a thing. Visibility is going to be a big thing. I'm probably going to build towers, actually. I should build towers on this thing, yeah. Towers on, like, the corners so that I can, like, pop up, look around, pop, down, pop back down. I'm going to build this like a fortress. I don't know when the hell the Mies are going to arrive. But I do know they're going to be annoying. I've seen their technology. It's actually... Why are you guys here? No, you... No, no, no. Okay, Commander Mert. Metopia, my ass. Wait, that one surrendered. He disengaged. I saw the me block somewhere. Where the hell did it go? Was it back here? I just saw it. I know I saw it. I know I saw it. I saw it out of the corner of my fucking eye. Where is it? I know it's here. I'm killing it. There it is. There's two of them. Does that mean that there's a second scouting party around? Okay, that one me actually ran away. He surrendered. It said disengaging and surrendered. That is one of the interesting things about them. They can't actually, like... They can run away. Fuck you. I don't know if I can catch them somehow. I feel like that scout party was running low on people, though. Hmm. I'm not sure. I don't know where the hell the guy went. He ran away, but I'm not sure where. Anyway, he surrendered, so... I will let him live. I guess. But now they're coming this from this way. I'm gonna need... To make sure I have a window over here as well. Alright, I have a general visibility... On all sides of my base. And I have walls now. I was gonna say I have a base, but no, I do not. I have walls. I have shitty walls. Eat my iron or wood sword. Because I don't feel like he's wasting my iron on a fucking zombie. Now when I have far more pressing matters to attend to, the fact that me's are running around near my base is concerning. They don't have a base over here, do they? That one was running. He's running around these woods. I don't even know where the hell the one I chased off is is exactly. Is it possible to... I saw white under the leaves. That's no, chicken. Alright. Okay, I've taken out a lot of their... little block thingies. I'm not sure if those... I, I looked at them in creative mode. They say that they, like, allow the Mies to call for reinforcements. So I don't know how useful they are. But, uh, yeah, I have a Mie seed laying again. And some more Mie stream shards. And I should probably, next episode, start growing some Mies. That could be advantageous for me. I don't know how the hell I start a colony with them, but it could be advantageous to have a me or two under my control. Just to have them patrolling and shit. So that I don't have to go out and fight all the time. I can have my own army. My own soldiers. Have them actually fight alongside me. I don't know how much longer I have before the Mies start building their base, though. That is the one concerning part. I keep looking up at my minimap to see if there's any weird mob movement around me. So that's about the best bet I have at, figure at finding them. Not that I figured out if they're red or white. 
on the mini map because every time they show up, I'm too focused on not dying and murdering them. <laughs> but yeah, those ones were rather weak compared to ones that I've fought previously. Are they like losing power because I'm murdering them so much? That'd be funny. That'd be very funny, actually. <laughs> like, you slaughter them to the point where they just stop being a threat. And just never get their tech. That'd be very funny. But yeah, uh, apparently... Apparently the Miis just decided to pop up. And so did the lost guy. But yeah, um... I think... I think that was all going to be all I do this video. Yeah, because I am out of time and I have other things I gotta get done. So, yeah, this that is it. Uh, yeah, I that, yeah I know it's short video. I'm working on something really big right now. I'm working getting something working that's gonna be very fun. Uh, so I don't have time to do really long videos, but uh, I hope you all did enjoy this one. So yeah, I hope everyone has enjoyed. If you enjoyed the ranks of the SCP Foundation, don't shoot that like button, slay those comments, and contain the subscribe button. Anyway, guys, we'll see you in the next video, live stream, or do next. Peace, guys.